Can a defendant claim self-defense against a police officer who pepper sprays him in a precinct? To find out, you have to read People versus Heiserman. It's only four pages. Don't have time for that? I got you covered. Our episode on People versus Heiserman. This is 2022 New York Slip Opinion 02588, published on December 13th, 2022. This is a criminal case. The issue here is when can a defendant, when can a prisoner use physical force to defend himself against a police officer's use of physical force? That's the issue presented here. The facts are very interesting. This is a, an arrested defendant, a person who's been arrested. He's in the police precinct and a, a police sergeant tells him, demands him to take his shoes off. The defendant refuses. The officer repeats it. The defendant refuses. The officer says, take your shoes off or I'm going to pepper spray you in the face. The defendant refuses. So the officer pepper sprays the defendant in the face and the defendant then attacks the police officer, punching him. He's sworn by a bunch of officers. He's ultimately pro- arrested for that. Now, new charge, assault in the second degree upon a police officer. And that goes to trial. At the trial, he asks the trial judge for a justification defense, a self-defense charge, saying the officer used excessive force against me and I was justified in using reasonable force against that police officer. Trial judge says no. Defendant's convicted. He appeals. The appellate division reverses. It appeals. The people appeal. Goes to the court of appeals. What do they say? They reaffirm the fact that indeed in some cases a person is justified, can get a justification defense against a force they use against the police officer who uses excessive force. A person may be justified in using force against a police officer in a certain case. But they also reaffirm the fact that it's a reasonableness standard. In light, most favorable to the defendant here, the Court of Appeals says it was not reasonable. It would not be reasonable for the defendant to use physical force in this particular set of circumstances. And they say that the officer's use of force with respect to the non-lethal use of pepper spray was a reasonable use of force against which the defendant was not entitled to use the force he used to attack the officer. So the holding here, it reaffirms justification. It reaffirms the fact that indeed you can, in certain circumstances, use force against the police officer. But as a matter of law, what the officer did here was not an excessive use of force that would allow a defendant to use force against him. If you like what you just saw and want to see more just like it, please hit like or subscribe to let me know.